Thank you for your interest in CamWorks, and thank you for attending this webcast. Today, we're going to be learning about a new and exciting addition to CamWorks that can save you time and money. If you're interested in reducing your cycle times by as much as 80% and extending your tool life by as much as 500%, you're going to want to stay with us as we introduce you to the new Volume Mill Toolpath Generator in CamWorks. What is Volume Mill? Volume Mill is an ultra high performance toolpath generator for two and three axis rough milling. Volume Mill is the best roughing toolpath generator on the market today. It outperforms all other toolpath technologies for roughing. Volume Mill handles any 2D part geometry and all 3D part topography, and it's fully integrated into CamWorks, which makes it easy to learn and easy to use. So to learn more about volume mill, let's begin by discussing the rough milling process, including the objectives of rough milling, the challenges, and the barriers to overcoming those challenges. Once we have a full understanding of the rough milling process and its challenges and barriers, we'll discuss the solution CamWorks volume mill and conclude by discussing the benefits of using the new toolpath generator inside CamWorks. The objectives of the rough milling process are clear and straightforward. The first objective is to remove the vast amount of raw material as quickly as possible. The second objective is to prepare the part for finishing by leaving a small amount of material on all surfaces for the semi-finish or finishing operations. And the final objective of rough milling is to achieve as near net a final shape as practical, particularly on three-dimensional multi-surface parts. So what are the challenges posed by the rough milling process? The primary challenge is to establish and maintain the optimal material removal rate. Another challenge is to extend the tool life, thereby minimizing the cost of the cutting tools required to perform the rough milling process. In addition, rough milling can be hard on a machine, so minimizing the stress and wear on the machine is also important. Finally, Rough milling also introduces stress into the part, which causes the part to distort and can even cause work hardening. Therefore, minimizing the stresses introduced into the part during the rough milling process is yet another significant challenge. There are also several barriers to meeting these challenges. In a typical roughing process, the machine often makes abrupt, dramatic changes in direction. The cutter, and therefore the machine, experiences uneven loads. Due to inefficient chip evacuation, heat is introduced into the part and often causes deformation. Heat is also introduced into the cutter, and that heat, along with the uneven cutter loads, shortens tool life and makes the cutter life unpredictable. There are also barriers to creating efficient roughing toolpaths. From the start, an initial cut is required to begin the roughing process, where the full diameter of the cutter is engaged in the material. In addition, subsequent roughing passes must be linked. And finally, the material in the corners must be removed so that an excessive amount of stock isn't left behind. As a result of these barriers, programmers and machinists are forced to treat the symptom, but not the cause. And they have little choice but to reduce the feeds and speeds decrease the depth of cuts and slow down the entire roughing process, or the cutters and machines simply won't survive. As a result, the tail wags the dog. Look closely at this slide. In the red areas, the machine and cutting tools are abused and the speeds and fees must be reduced so that the tools can survive. The gray areas represent the areas where the machine and cutting tools are underutilized. The bottom line is that the tool paths are inefficient for virtually the entire operation. So what's the result of inefficient tool paths? The machine and cutting tools are either abused or underutilized, and they never get to run in their sweet zones. Cutting tool life is significantly reduced, cycle times are extended, and production is reduced. Tool paths are the weak link in the chain. As a result, currently, milling productivity is far below its potential. So what's the solution? CamWorks Volume Mill. CamWorks Volume Mill will create better tool paths for your roughing operations. 
So what makes volume mill better? Volume mill tool paths have no sharp corners. Instead, concentric circles are used to develop tool path. Volume mill creates smooth, stress-free links between cuts. The roughing passes have a consistent radial step over and the axial depth of cut can be significantly increased. Constant material removal rates can be maintained and using volume mill, you can establish and maintain ideal cutting conditions. As a result, the machine and the cutting tools get to run under their ideal conditions regardless of the part geometry. What are the benefits of using volume mill? You can reduce your cycle times by more than 80%, increase your production by as much as 500%. You can increase the utilization of your machine by as much as 85%, while at the same time reduce your tooling costs by as much as 90%. You can avoid broken tools and machine collisions. Volume mill can significantly reduce your maintenance costs and dramatically increase the life of your machine tool. Are those figures a little hard to believe? Well, let's look at some actual case studies using volume mill. In our first study, an aerospace job shop was using a half inch diameter five flute M mill to cut 625 in canal. Before volume mill, they were taking a quarter inch axial depth of cut at 400 RPM using a two inch per minute feed rate. The cycle time was 35 minutes and they were getting three parts per tool resulting in a tooling cost of $15 per part. Using volume mill, they were able to more than double their depth of cut, increase their speed from 400 to 3000 RPM, and increase their feed rate from only two inches a minute to an amazing 30 inches a minute. As a result, the cycle time was reduced by 80%. And because the tool and machine were now operating under ideal conditions, instead of three parts per tool, they were now able to get 12 parts per tool. The bottom line was an incredible 400% increase in production while achieving a 75% reduction in tooling costs. In our second case study, a firearms manufacturer was cutting titanium using a half inch diameter five fluid M mill. They were taking a 315 thousandths axial depth of cut at 1225 RPM and 6.25 inches per minute. The material removal rate was 0.433 cubic inches per minute. The cycle time for this operation was 80 minutes and they were getting four parts per tool. Using volume mill, they were able to nearly double their axial depth of cut. They were able to increase their spindle speed from 1225 RPM to over 3000 RPM and increase their feed rate from 6.25 inches a minute to an incredible 100 inches per minute. Volume mill reduced their cycle time by more than 60%, but as if that wasn't good enough, because the machine and cutting tool were now operating under ideal conditions, they went from getting only four parts per tool to an amazing 40 parts per tool. The bottom line results were a remarkable 166% increase in production with an astounding 90% reduction in tooling costs. That's a tenfold increase in the number of parts per tool they were able to produce. Our final case study was at a St. Louis area job shop that was cutting 17-4 stainless steel. Before volume mill, they were taking an axial depth of cut of 30 thousandths at 757 RPM and a little over 68 inches a minute. 68 inches a minute sounds pretty good for cutting 17-4, doesn't it? Their cycle time was 43 minutes and using an insert cutter, they were getting two parts with each set of inserts. Using volume mill, they were able to increase their depth of cut by 97%. They increased their spindle speed from 757 RPM to over 6,000 RPM and more than doubled their feed rate to over 150 inches per minute. Further, because the machine and cutting tools were now running under ideal conditions, they went from getting only two parts per insert set to five parts per insert set. This shop believed they were doing pretty well, cutting 17.4 at 68 inches a minute. But the results were in. Using volume mill, they were able to increase their production by more than 
Instead of one part every 43 minutes, they were now able to machine six parts. And as if that wasn't enough, they reduced their tooling cost by 60%. So stay with us as we show you a live demonstration of Camworks Volume Mill. We're going to machine a part to demonstrate how Volume Mill can increase your production by as much as 500% and decrease your tooling cost as much as 90%. So don't leave yet. Stay with us for our live demonstration. This is Mark Bissell. I'm the Senior Applications Engineer for Camworks here at Geometric, and today I'm going to be showing you a live demonstration of Camworks Volume Mill. This is the part we're going to be using for this demonstration, and for the material, I've chosen not the hardest material I could think of, like Inconel or titanium, nor the softest material, like aluminum or cast iron, but something in between. In this case, a piece of 1018 steel that might be typical of a part used for an industrial application. To begin the process, I'll use Camworks AFR, the best automatic feature recognition software on the market. After pushing this button, watch closely as Camworks AFR quickly extracts all the machinable features from this solid model. And please note, this model doesn't have to be created using SolidWorks. This model could have been created using any solid model or a CAD system. Next, I'm going to generate the operations required to machine this part. As I push this button, Camworks will access its technical database to automatically select the tools and determine the best processes for machining this part. The tech database is user configurable and can be customized to establish the best practices for your programmers and machinists on your production floor. To continue the process, I'll push this button and based on the tools and processes selected from the user configurable database, Camworks will automatically generate the tool paths required to machine this part. Finally, I'll use the sorting option to automatically sort the operations into the desired sequence so that the rough and finished milling operations will occur first before the spot drilling and tapping of the part. Let's perform a quick toolpath simulation and watch the entire CNC program that Camworks has generated for us with only a few clicks of the mouse. Now let's look closely at the roughing operations in particular for this part. Two major roughing operations must occur. The large pocket in the center of the part must be machined, and the periphery of the part must be machined from the rectangular piece of extruded stock. First let's look at the pocket. A half inch carbide 5 flute end mill was selected for the roughing. The speed, feed, and depth of cut selected are typical of what would normally be used when machining 1018 steel. On the optimize tab, we can see the total time required to machine the pocket was a little over 10 minutes. Now let's see what happens if we use the new volume mill option inside Camworks. First, I'll select volume mill for the roughing pattern. By pushing this button next to volume mill, I can access a special dialog box that contains all the parameters unique to volume mill. Using this dialog box, I select ramp as the entry method. Next, as recommended when using volume mill, I'll set my first cut to take advantage of the tool's full flute length. In addition, I'll triple my surface footage. When using volume mill, we can expect to increase the speeds typically used for roughing by a factor of two or three times over those recommended by the cutting tool manufacturer. Now I'll use the new time saving preview option in Camworks to view the new toolpath without having to take the time to fully generate it before I'm sure it's what I want. Look at the smooth corner free toolpath volume mill has created. Now let's go look at the Optimize tab and see how much our cycle time has been reduced. As you recall, the previous cycle time for roughing the pocket was a little over 10 minutes. But the new cycle time using volume mill has been reduced to under 3 minutes. That's more than a 70% reduction in cycle time. In addition, we can expect to more than double our tool life. 
Now that we've already saved over seven minutes of cycle time, let's see what happens if we use volume mill on the periphery roughing as well. The periphery of the part is being cut by a three quarter inch five flute carbide M mill with a five eighths depth of cut. Currently, on the Optimize page, I can see that it is taking 14.8 minutes for this operation. I'll change the pattern to use volume mill, set the entry to ramp if needed, set the first cut amount to take advantage of the full flute length, and then triple the surface footage. As you can see, we're taking only two passes in depth now. And let's see what happened to our cycle time. Look at that. The cycle time has been reduced from 14.8 minutes down to just over three minutes. That's nearly an 80% reduction in cycle time or a savings of over 11 minutes. The 11 minutes we saved here plus the seven minutes we saved machining the pocket means that we've saved over 18 minutes of cycle time on just this single part. If we were machining 10 of these parts, we would save over three hours of machining time. Using Camworks volume mill, the cycle time for roughing this part has been reduced by 74%, and that means more than a 375% increase in production. We can now rough out more than three parts in the same amount of time it was taking us to rough out one. And if that isn't enough, we can expect to more than double our tool life. I trust you're beginning to see the advantages of using volume mill. And if you're interested in reducing your cycle time, extending your tool life, reducing your maintenance costs, and extending the life of your machine, Contact your Camworks reseller today for an in-house demonstration of volume mill. Stay tuned because next we'll be showing you a video of volume mill in action. Need high speed machining? The following videos demonstrate how high speed machining is possible with any type of machine and material using volume mill ultra high performance toolpaths. Here, Volume Mill turns this light duty Haas Super Mini with low horsepower and torque and a 10,000 RPM spindle into a high speed milling machine by cutting 6061 T6 aluminum a half inch deep with a 45% step over at 350 inches per minute with one fourth of the tool wear. Compared to the pocket machined on the right side, Volume Mill reduced the cycle time by more than 60%. High-speed machining is possible with any material. Here, the fluid motion volume mill generates allows this machining center to safely cut 4140 steel at 1300 surface feet per minute, which is four times faster than the tool manufacturer's recommended rate. The cycle time on this hard steel was reduced nearly 70%. Here you see how high performance toolpaths allow machines to be used at near maximum capacity even when cutting exotics such as 6 AL4V titanium. In this example, a carbide end mill is making a full 1 inch deep cut at 126 inches per minute at 500 surface feet per minute in this notoriously difficult to machine material. This is nearly four times the recommended feed rate even without the benefit of an air blast. The cycle time on this part was reduced more than 70% and the tool life doubled. Ready to experience high speed machining? See for yourself how you can reduce cycle times and slash tool costs immediately. Start using volume mill today for all your rough milling needs. Thank you for your attention and now we'll open up our webcast to any questions that you might have regarding Camworks volume mill.